We need to understand that our strife is not against fellow human beings. Be you black, be you white, be you Native American, Chinese, Arab, African. All the slavery and all what is going on is not orchestrated by human beings. These fellow human beings just let themselves be used by these things to destroy other fellow human beings. These human beings are just accessories used by alien spirits, demonic oppressions, wicked spirits designed living among us, looking like us, and using us to perform all those things. They have a very specific agenda to destroy our unity, dominate us, conquer us, enslave us, or take over our planet altogether. A human being reproduces, they don't. They can only create their kind, their clones. A human being, a real human being, will give birth through sex. We need to understand that. Amongst us are alien spirits. There are about 57, as I learned, different species that we have discovered on Earth that are living among us. Some of them look exactly like human beings. If they sit with us anywhere, we will never know that they are alien spirits. They are alien beings. There are some that are multidimensional living among us. They come here, they reside here, and they do things. Some of them are wicked. Some of them are malevolent. Some of them are benevolent. Some of them come with different agendas, diverse agendas. I don't trust any one of them. So long as they leave their plane of existence, begin to explore other places, they must be coming with a sinister agenda. And when they come on our earth, the best way for them to strive, to thrive here, is to cause strife in the lives of mankind. Because when the occupants of the earth begin to fight among themselves, they can enjoy and do what they want to do, peaceful. Our job is to understand them and to chase them out of our presence to be able to have peace. You can, because this earth is built for you humans and you have the capabilities. You can maneuver it over it better than they can. Even though they are spirit beings, you have certain qualities they don't have. You have to capitalize on that. First of all, understand and let it dawn on each and every one of us living on this earth that everything is changing so fast and that we have been lied to for hundreds or thousands of years. There are extraterrestrial beings living among us. There are alien spirits living among us. They've been working with us with bring technology and many more things. And some of them are causing all the wars on earth. Because they want to destabilize on earth and take it away from us. The only way we can protect ourselves from them is to leverage through our spiritual upliftment. We have to lift our spiritual lives because they are spirit beings, they are invisible beings, they are higher in vibration we need to also lift our level of vibration so that we'll be able to meet their standards or be able to overcome them. To be naive is no excuse anymore. More and more you're going to hear about this from science, theologians, people that have seen them, you begin to get the experiences, understand one thing, the wars we fight are spiritual wars. If we can address the spiritual things, the wars will end. It begins with you. Become aware. Dig into consciousness. Awaken the, awaken the higher self in you. Awaken your consciousness to understand the truth. Jesus said, when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Seek and you will find. Ask and you will see. If you come and ask me, I will explain to you, I will tell you what it is. 
I will, I will help you, guide you, teach you in ways that you will understand what you need to do, exactly what you need to do, so that you don't be confused with lies. And when you do it, you see it work miracles, you work in your life, you save yourself and you save other people out there. Brethren, I'm asking you to understand one thing. The troubles you go through are spiritual and must be handled spiritually. I'm not saying you should be a Muslim. I'm not saying you should be a Christian. I'm not saying you should be a Buddhist. I'm not saying you should belong to one faith or not. If the Muslims fighting the jihadists understood that this problem is not a human problem, they would stop fighting. If they understood that it's not a religious problem, they would stop fighting. If Americans and some other parts of the world understood that this problem was much more spiritual, we will begin to address it in both ways. It's a spiritual battle and it begins with us. How we perceive ourselves, how we work from inside out, from within is buried. High consciousness, from within is buried treasures, spiritual treasures in us that can uplift us to very high levels. We must dig down in us and bring out the best of our spirituality to save our lives. How do we do that in these spiritual perilous times? I will take the next couple of minutes to talk about that. If you have your guns, fine with you, but they don't save a lot. If you have your boot, boots, your clothes, your blankets, your food, your bunkers, good. They will save your material needs. It's important to have it. But there's one fundamental thing you are not having. Your spirituality. Because all those things can fail you and your spirituality will hold everything else together. You don't have that yet. And that's why I'm here to remind you. You, the rich, the middle class, the poor, the scientists, whoever you are, whatever thing you have achieved to protect your life physically, that's good. But something fundamental is lacking. What the Bible says will rest or not against flesh and blood. If there is a tsunami, a flood, that will fill the whole earth for three months. Tell me how you survive in that bunker. For one year, for two years. Tell me if those alien spirits decide to create an environment on earth because that's what they've already been doing. That is unconducive for a human being to live in where they themselves can live in, but a human being cannot live in. What are you going to do? Stay in a bunker for the rest of your life. Those are shortcomings that you haven't thought of. You've thought of your material need. You've not thought of your spiritual need. Those things that you don't see, feel, touch, sense, that may happen. If there is a radiation that will fill the whole earth, how are you going to protect yourself for the next 10 years? You see that a clear mindset is much more better than all those bomb guns and drones and piling, stockpiling of foods and all what you're doing. Alien spirits are much more intelligent because they vibrate at a different frequency. That's why at times they can disappear, you don't see them, they can appear, you see them. They are much more advanced in technology. Your own technology is way more inferior and primitive to theirs. That's why they can suspend everything we do, just like that. They have machines and war bombs and wars and war weapons that are much more complicated than ours. They infiltrate our minds, our brains and our psyche without us understanding them. How can you deal with that? That's when your spiritual life comes in to play. That's when, when you tune into a higher self. You tune into what is higher than you, your intelligence, the five senses, and begin to act activate that. It's called spirituality. You go back into what is not material. But the most subtle 
aspect of the atomic bomb of the atoms in your cell, the nucleus of life that matter cannot hold. What holds all matter together? When you begin to visit, understand, work with, that's when you are beginning to protect yourself against all those alien entities and all those demonic spirits wanting to take over your life. What is causing all the illnesses, all the stresses and all the problems you have? When you begin to visit the sort of elements of atomic energy, what you cannot hold, what is not tangible by material holding, that's when your spiritual activation is taking place. Where will you learn that? How will you grasp that? Money will not give you that. Food will not give you that. Material possession will not give you that. Your bunkers and all of that will not give you that. Fighting wars and bombs will not do that. Going to fight ISIS or ISIS, terrorism will not give all of that. It will, you will not be protected. And these are things you need to know. Brethren, the life we live now has changed. Everything is changing and becoming more multidimensional, more spiritual. Even the computers we see are becoming more complicated. You need to catch up. Catch up with time. The wars we are living, they are spiritual wars. They are moving into spiritual dimension. You also have to be changing to become a, a spiritual dimensional being too. We are moving from 2D to 3D to 3, 3D to 4D, 5D and 6D. You must learn to change as well. You have to start learning how to tune yourself to become a spirit being. Tune to your spiritual nature. Go back to where you come from. Learn how to collaborate with your spirit, with your soul. Hold it together. That's only when you can go back to the finest level of your life and pick out the nucleus of life and use it for your own benefit. It is time you need to understand that there are two forces ruling the universe, using our own. You have the larger force that pulls everything together. All the stars, the moon, the sun, and this, everything, the planets. It holds everything together. The gravitational force that pulls everything and holds all the large objects together is a larger gravitational force. And then you have a smaller gravitational force that pulls all the atoms, all the molecules, all the little particles in the body, in the air, in the land, in the sea together. It is easier for us humans to control the larger particles that hold the whole universe together. That's why we can penetrate the moon and the stars and all the other planets. We can access those ones. But we find it difficult to access the smallest one that holds all the small particles together. The force that holds all the small, the finest particle, we can't access it. We can't even find it. It becomes very complex, very complicated when we use the microscope or our physical senses. We need to tune to our spiritual being to be able to get a grasp of that, to understand what we need to use to hold that together. And when we hold that, then we can magnify it again and use it at an atomic level to protect ourselves. That is how this world works. That is how we can protect ourselves. If you want to protect yourself against the wicked one, it means you have to learn how to concentrate your energy, your power, your force and everything as a spirit being using that little force concentration is the key it's not accumulation of material things brethren I will take time to expand on this on my television show but if you want to hear more about this how to hold yourself together and to deal with this issue so that bombs and guns will not tear your flesh apart but how you can work with your spiritual being to hold your life together so that no wicked thing, no wicked design, no wicked leader around the world will destroy your life with guns and bombs so that ISIS and all the things that are happening will not destroy you. Go to my soul and I. Visit us. Join. And let us give you life.
Finally, that anxiously awaited moment is here. Your precious little bundle of excitement is now package ready. There is no doubt you will enjoy the happiness of the occasion, your sleepless nights and personal adjustments to increasing life stresses that depletes your energy reserves will soon be a thing of the past. I know juggling the demands of work with family commitments surely leaves little for yourself. This usually results to stress, unhappiness, ill health, and more. It's like a house of cats. Though it is standing, I am hopelessly aware that the slightest breath of wind or the smallest breeze could knock down a wall, a room, or the entire structure. I see your need for a serious companion to a more fulfilling life. That is why your inspirational videos are designed especially for a new life of happiness, peace, love, joy, good health, and abundance, and self-actualization, brethren. As seen on TV, my soul and I devotion delivers simple practical solutions to everyday life's easy and complex problems, easy to follow. This comes with easy to follow Ashing training video for a flawless body and a spiritual awakening. This is pricey, but it's yours free just for requesting a free inspirational video and more. Go to www.mysoulandi.com. Mark a yes in a box of choice on the postcard and I will rush your first free inspirational DVD and more to you. Look, I decree a good thing upon your life and that the rest of your days be blessed.